Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and in this video, we're going to conduct a features inspection and performance evaluation of the all-new Chaparral 28 Surf Black Edition. With a length overall of 28 feet, she has a yacht certified capacity, which means you can load until the seats are filled. And with features such as the Malibu surf gates, the Volvo Penta forward drive, and the Simrad interface handling the automation, it's clear that this luxury performance machine is not meant for those who want to just dip their toes in the world of wake surfing, but go all in. Let's start by what makes the Black Edition package. It starts with the most obvious, the black bottom and striking hull sides. Add black metal finished around the windshield and soft envisioned silicone cayenne interior with black accent for the upholstery that remains cool to the touch even in direct sunlight. It's one of six color choices available. As an added touch, choose the optional Black Edition hardtop to really make your 28 surf stand out in the crowd. Now let's talk about the surf features. The biggest news is that Simrad has partnered with Chaparral for this exclusive interface with the SURF features. This means that either of the two 7-inch Simrad NSS EVO 3 displays can be used for interacting between the engine, the boat for speed, the trim functions, the 1,080-pound center-mounted ballast sack, and the SURF gates which can be changed from side to side on the fly. Plus, you can load up to six pre-programmed profiles for surf, ski, and wakeboarding. And just look at this user interface. The ballast control is to the left and it takes about 10 minutes to fill. Our preset profiles are right at the top and we can make adjustments to any of these as desired or engage at the touch of a button. Touch the speed or trim again to disengage and go back to manual control. Now let's choose surf. Here we see the speed changes to 11.5 miles per hour. The trim goes to zero. I press to engage and hit full throttle and the speed increases up to 11.5 miles per hour. And this is GPS speed, not speed through the water. Now notice we can also switch size on the fly. By pressing left or right, we can open and close the surf gates and choose which side to have the wake on. To center the wake, press the center button. So let's run the numbers. With the single 430 horsepower Volvo Penta V8 with a forward drive run up to 5700 RPM, our speed topped out at 48.3 miles per hour. Best Cruise came in at 4000 RPM and 31.3 miles per hour. At that speed, the 11.9 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 2.6 miles per gallon in a range of 190 statute miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 80 gallon total fuel capacity. But we're going to be surfing at around 9 to 10 miles per hour and our test shows that we can keep that up for over 11 hours and still keep that 10% reserve in the bank. With Chaparral's extended V-plane hull, she had quick times to plane with little bow rise. Acceleration was no nonsense reaching 20 miles per hour in 9.2 seconds and 30 came and went in an average 13.3 seconds. With the forward drive, response can only be described as brisk, so keep the quick steering movements in check. That said, she still got the characteristic chaparral hull that smoothed out the lake chop we experienced on our windy day and kept the ride dry and comfortable. Now let's look at the amenities starting with the cockpit. To starboard, there's a bench seat with a 36-quart carry-on cooler underneath. Opposite is seating that runs from the port side and across the stern in L fashion. A side mount cockpit table adds to the functionality. This gets dedicated storage in a drawer in the index storage compartment. Luxury treatments are already starting with the wide padded bolsters and maintenance-free Envision silicone upholstery that's soft to the touch and repels heat even in direct sunlight. All decking is covered in C-Deck non-skid matting as standard, and all grab handles and beverage holders are stainless steel. Just ahead is Chaparral's Ultra Comfort seat that features the adjustment controls in clear sight, always love that, as well as a flip bolster. The grab handle beverage holder and phone connectivity are recessed into the padded bulwarks, on top of the console, there's lockable glove storage. Above it all is the optional Black Edition hardtop. It's 8 feet 6 inches long, 74 inches off the deck to the grab handles, and includes two 21 inch by 42 inch skylights. It lowers electrically for trailering or fitting into the rack room. Inside the port console is a head compartment. It includes a standard porta potty and this porcelain electric flush unit is offered as an option. The port is a sink with a pull-out sprayer and an opening port light. Headroom is 46 inches with 33 inches of sitting headroom. 
The 23-inch bow walkthrough can be closed off with an air dam for operating on those chilly mornings, and when closed, it lies flush to the starboard console. When opened, there's access to the console storage as well as a pull-out drawer just above. While the bow is laid out in the usual fashion of V-seating, Chaparral just takes it to the next level. By carrying the beam farther forward, the seats are a full 26 inches apart. There are wider bolsters that are a full 18 inches high. The seatbacks are contoured and include diamond stitching and flip-up armrests. Of course, the non-skid C-deck matting continues here. Full-length grab rails are on top of the cap rails to both sides. Of course, the luxury and vision upholstery continues. Speakers and stainless beverage holders are below and recessed into the padded bolsters. There's storage under both side seats, which are hinged from the rear. Under the forward cushion, there's a non-skid surface for bow-in boarding. Under the step is a built-in self-draining cooler. A side-mount pedestal base accommodates the optional table. At the foredeck, there's a concealed anchor. Pull-up cleats are to both sides of the hatch and control switches are to starboard. Fully forward, Chaparral included a flip nav light that reversed to a flush mount. Under the hatch, there's an electric Lumar windlass with a cleat to the side. The anchor runs through a through the stem roller. We move through the 13 inch wide starboard walkthrough to the swim platform and our test boat had the much sought after 39 inch wide optional infinity power step that not only makes reboarding easier, it provides an excellent place to sit and relax while keeping cool. The top is treated with sea deck and when opened it matches whatever treatments are chosen for the interior. Just ahead is comfortable aft facing seating that measures 20 inches deep, but grab the handle on the top of the seat back and pull aft and the entire aft seat converts to an aft facing chaise lounge measuring 50 inches by 49 inches. Under the port seat there's storage that runs all the way under the cockpit seating and I'd like to see a strut holding this cushion up. Back at the entry, with the gate closed, there's access to the battery switches and the master breakers. Lift the grab handle under the aft seat to access the engine compartment. Choose from either the 380 horsepower or 430 horsepower engines from Mercury or Volvo Penta, both options with forward facing outdrives. Mercury will have the medallion touchscreen in place of one of the Simrad screens. Volvo Penta uses the proprietary Simrad partnership we discussed, so two Simrad screens at the helm. Here we have the 430 horsepower Volvo Penta closed cooled engine with plenty of room to all sides for ease of maintenance and all checkpoints are right at the front. In addition to the dual Simrad screens, the helm features a non-glare black dash, electrical switches run down both sides of the wheel that mounts to a tilt base, and like the observer seat, the helm seat is the ultra comfort with a flip bolster and the controls right up front where they belong. To the side bulkhead, there's a stereo with connectivity, a stainless beverage holder, and the engine controls next to the comfortable armrest. This is without a doubt a luxury bow rider customized for all water sports. She's loaded with upscale treatments and the partnership with Simrad is a good combination of tech and convenience. Aside from all that, there's no getting past the fact that this is also a darn good looking boat, as chaperones tend to be. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation of the all new 28 Surf Black Edition from Chaparral. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.